Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to Art of Awakening. My name is Ona Christie, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the spiritual law of gender. And this is the seventh of the seven great hermetic principles, which are spiritual laws or principles that define how the world works on a spiritual level. We all know the laws of physics that describe how things work in the physical world. This describes the spiritual world. The principle of gender is just very simply put, it's the, the truth that everything has masculine energy and feminine energy within it. That these principles are active within all of life. And in, in throughout the universe. So it's very basically very simple, but it's sort of like these laws are like the rules of chess, okay? They are spiritual principles that you can learn very quickly, but then it takes a lifetime or even many lifetimes to really master and really understand them. Well, I don't claim to be a master, but even just understanding these principles on a basic level has really empowered me to move forward in life in, in a much more powerful way. And I hope that it does you too. So let's dig a little deeper into this law of gender. When I first began to study the universal laws and learned about the law of gender, I was a little puzzled at first. I was already familiar with the third hermetic principle, the law of polarity. And which states that everything has opposites within it. So I was looking at this gender and I was like, well, isn't that just one of the polarities? Why is it singled out for its own universal law, right? Because we've got all sorts of polarities. Isn't this just one of them? But when I really started to sit with it, it dawned on me just exactly how huge this law of gender is and, and why it is its own principle. And it comes from the concept of generation. Okay, so the word gender has the same root word as to generate, which means to manifest or to create. Okay, and so this is the fundamental law of manifestation. And it explains how creation works, how things are brought into being. And so you can imagine how powerful it is if you really start to work with this law. So these two energies, the masculine and the feminine, when they combine and work harmoniously together, they have the power to create more, okay? And not just carbon copies of themselves, but coming together and creating something that is completely new and more evolved than either of the 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 either of these two energies themselves. This is the power of the Trinity, right? The masculine, feminine, and the child. So bringing these two genders together, the masculine and feminine, is it, you know harmoniously is the key to natural evolution and the key to life itself. So let's take a look at a couple of examples from the natural world. Of course, at the atomic level, matter is made up of atoms, and each atom is made up of, of positive and negative particles, right? So protons embodying the masculine principle, electrons embodying the feminine principle. When they come together, you can create just about anything. I think the easiest way to observe the law of gender at work is in the animal world. And in animals, on the purely physical level, of course, gender is analogous to sex, right? Sex is an expression of gender. But of course, gender is not the same thing as sex. Remember that these are energies and they exist, both of them, as energies within everything, including within ourselves. So it's important always to, to recognize that we have those masculine and feminine energies within us. Also masculine and feminine both are subject to the law of polarity. So you can have masculine energy expressing itself in a positive way or in a negative way. We can have feminine energy expressing itself in a positive or a negative way. And what I mean by positive is is this energy supportive of life? Is it moving towards and supporting evolution, right? And, and the greater expansion of consciousness. 
why do I say consciousness in life? Looking back at that first universal law, the law of all mind, is that everything is made up of one universal mind, okay? So the law of gender and these two energies working together is the mechanism by which creation or the all mind expands and creates, okay? So if these two energies are working in a negative way, that is actually counter-evolutionary, right? De-evolutionary. And we see actually instances of both of these happening in the world right now at ever accelerating rates. But that's a topic for another video. I think the takeaway of this video really is to realize that we have both within us and as humans, as creative beings who have the capacity to freely create in amazing ways beyond just procreation, right? Using this principle is the key to being able to manifest your desires into the world. Of course, you can do that at an unconscious level, and a lot of people do. In fact, everybody does. No matter what you do, you're creating and you're using these energies to create. And a lot of people do create beautiful things without realizing that they're using these energies. But when you start to recognize what these energies are, you can actually consciously use them to take your creative ability, ability up to the next level. But in order to do that, you really have to be aware of what is, you know, what does it mean to be masculine? What does it mean to be feminine? What do these energies actually mean? And for that, stay tuned for part two of this video. And in the meantime, if you've enjoyed this video and would like to learn more about spiritual law, check out my spiritual law playlist. And remember, you were born to be free.